Hello, and welcome to Dish Granted. I'm your host and amateur home cook, Stephen Lim. And I've had the opportunity to try some of the most extravagant, expensive, delicious meals all around the world. But on this show, I'll be attempting to give my friends a little taste of that same luxury. With no limit to how much I can spend, I'll have 24 hours to create a dish beyond their wildest dreams. This is Dish Granted. Before we begin, Tony, can I just say something? I'm stressed. This is not my forte. I like it, I enjoy it. I really love being in the kitchen, but I'm just not that good. Anyway, let's begin. Today, the special guest whose dish I will grant is none other than my co-founder and good friend, Shane Madej. I've had the honor and privilege of starting a company with him over this past year. And I wanted to just say thank you because he's shown me a lot of kindness, always checking in on how I'm doing, especially when I was at my lowest points. So let's sit down with Shane and see what he's wishing for today. Steven, the dish that you will be making for me is macaroni and cheese. Oh, macaroni and cheese, okay. I just okay. really, really love mac and cheese. It's flexible, you can get a nice cheap version of it and it's like a fun little comfort food. It's something that reminds me of childhood, but then you can oh. also go to like a restaurant and get a fancy mac and cheese. The threshold for fancy mac and cheese for me is anytime they put like a, a crispy crumbly little bread oh, crumb on top. I can yeah. definitely do that for you. And let me tell you, don't make it too mushy. For the noodle. I love a cavatappi. Is that the one that's like a little corkscrew but it's hollow? Is that what I'm thinking of? I believe so. I'm not an expert on pasta, but why do you like the cavatappi? The hollow center, the sauce gets kind of trapped in there. It's a sauce trap. Ooh, what kind of cheeses do you like? I'm a big Gouda man. Ooh, um, Gouda. It's really about the sort of zinc. Like the zing. Little, the tanginess of the cheese. Do you like when dishes are presented in a fun way? If you want to go all out and go for that, you're welcome to, but I would happily eat mac and cheese off of a trash can lid. Oh, okay. I'd like to clarify, I didn't realize I had any of these opinions <laughs> until I started speaking just now. Okay, shame of day. Yeah. This is an important question. If I told you that you were about to spend $200 on a mac and cheese, what would it have to happen for that to be worth it to you? I don't. No. It's gotta be the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so. that's, that, that's the pressure. You know what, Shane? I will probably let you down, but I will see you in 24 hours. Good luck. I'm looking forward to it. Sha, la, 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 la. <sighs> okay, I have a lot of notes. I think I'll probably make a Southern style inspired mac and cheese. Ah! Wow. The main thing that he did say was taste way more important than presentation. So I gotta make sure that I have good cheese, good pasta. As long as I get the basics right, it's a good start. I am gonna add trouble. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got extra money, you know, and show you, you got food dish, you got pasta. You... We're gonna have trouble. Let's look up places that have high quality pasta. Semolina artisanal pasta. Ooh, this looks good. Ooh, I like this. Strozza Preti. A long hollow tube. I'll try that one out. Ooh, you know what he really wants. Conch, 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 This is gonna cradle the cheese sauce like a baby. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw it out for you. Oh, what if we mix that with the strozza pretty? Okay, now we are getting somewhere. I have to draw this many conchiglia. I don't know anything about cheese, Tony. I, I mean, I'm, I'm like slightly like this intolerant. Well, he did say he likes Gouda. He does like cheddar. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the cheese shop and ask them what kind of cheese I should use. Don't forget the breadcrumbs. Ooh, the bread, you know, the breadcrumbs. Thank you, Tony. And then, truffle baby. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I have a feeling that it's all going to go very wrong very soon. Oh, forgot the one. Because Shane said it in the conversation. I would happily eat mac and cheese off of a trash can yeah. lid. Ta-da! Okay, we have something. Let's go to the store and grab some stuff. First up, a specialty cheese shop here in LA to pick up some really high quality cheeses. Then we'll grab some handcrafted pasta from Semolina Artisanal Pasta. And finally, truffles. Yes, I officially have a truffle guy, actually two of them, Marco and Michael from Truffle Brothers, and white truffle is in season. Then we'll head back home and get right back to work. Be very careful with your fingers. 
because you don't want to grate your fingers on those right there. Thank goodness for Glenn because he knows his cheese and he recommended to us that we mix some sort of combination of these four different cheeses. So right now we have a red witch cheese. That is beautiful. Can I eat this? Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm so stupid. You're supposed to eat the cheese, Ryan? I don't know. Wow, this is off to a rough start. Right here, we have the old Amsterdam Gouda. Oh my goodness, this is a very hard cheese, or I think he had pronounced it, Halda. This is a really good one, and I'm definitely gonna use this because Shane likes Halda. Then we have uh, these two, which I'm gonna interchange and see how it tastes. We have a Cabot Cheddar. This is very satisfying now. Oh, that's scary. He really recommended that we use a Petit Basque. Try the Petit Basque by itself. It's definitely, this one's definitely more earthy. It's more mild. I say cheddar. Cheddar. Next step, the bechamel. I just spent the last 30 minutes watching as many mac and cheese videos as I could. There's one particular video that actually had kind of the best consistency and texture that I was looking for. It does look incredible. So to make the bechamel, we start with the roux, which is just butter, what? flour, and milk. First cheese, this is the red witch. I mean, I don't know if that's, should I get something to measure it? No, it's fine. Red witch, Gouda, cheddar. <laughs> oh my God, what did I do? It's thick, it's thick AF. Oh no, did I do this wrong? That's my milk. Wait, why is it so thick? My fresh bechamel is a failure. It's curdling. That can <laughs> no, no, what did I do wrong? Help me, Ty. Oh, okay, this is right. It should be thick. Ah. It, it calls for black pepper, paprika, creole seasoning, salt. Wow, that is thick. All right, this is take one. It doesn't smell amazing. But it tastes amazing. Oh yeah, baby. I did not expect that to taste that good. That's gonna be perfect for the mac and cheese. It looks like it's just creamy enough to keep it together, but not runny where she's gonna get mad. We now have the semolina artisanal pasta. They both take the same amount of time to cook and I want to bring it to just before al dente. Breadcrumbs, I forgot completely about the breadcrumbs. Uh, let's try panko this time. How long has it been? Mm, perfect, wow. I don't know if this is enough pasta actually. So. <laughs> it's a long day. I'm gonna add a whisked egg inside to help with the texture and the cooking. Then I'm gonna incorporate all the cheese. Shane, you're gonna love me after tomorrow. We made Parmesan and breadcrumbs together. I mean, that looks spectacular. Throw that in the oven, and then in 30 minutes, I'm gonna have myself a nice little meal. Oh. Boom. <laughs> I mean, Tony, Tony, look at this. I mean, that's beautiful. Quick side note, I did wake up at 4 a.m. this morning stressed about this shoot, so. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Kids, we done did it. We did done it. It's delicious. Okay, attempt number one. This is, uh, this is fire. But I do have some notes I think I wanna make better next time. The breadcrumbs could be better. Panko is good. It adds crispiness, but it doesn't add like something special. Two, it's there, but it's not there. Something's missing. The truffle, for sure. More cheese. I love it. Let's do more cheese. It's pretty good. <gasps> I just had an idea. Let me know if this is crazy. Shane's favorite dessert is pies. Pie to me is a sacred, holy thing. Divine so, almost. Yes. So what if we take the mac and cheese and we bake it in a pie crust. Let's do it. So um, I actually have no experience making pies either. Uh, surprise. So I pulled up a recipe from Tasty. It's a video by Claire, Michelle, and Pierce, some friends of mine. If it's not perfect, I'm blaming them. So I am definitely not a good baker. So this will be interesting. A pinch of salt. One and a quarter sticks of unsalted butter. Also should have got the cutting board. <laughs> Look, many mistakes were made. Cold, cold, cold. Cold, cold, cold cube butter. Just has to really incorporate it into the flour here. I'm not sure why I'm doing this though. Does it look like it's working? So I need to add liquid now. Two large egg yolks. Interesting, just the yolks. Look at that. Nice. 
four tablespoons of ice water. I know. Do a little bit less. Two. Why ice water? I don't know. I'll splatter that next time. So I'm gonna mix in three quarters of this and then mix everything together with a dinner fork until the dough is just starts to come together. Add more liquid to the driest parts of the dough if needed. The dough is ready when it holds together in a ball and squeeze it in your palm. This is one area of cooking that I just have zero clue in. I think I said that all day. <laughs> but is like knowing when dough is ready. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna make it into a disc now and I'm supposed to let this cool off for 30 minutes. All right, so I'm running out of time here, but I found a really good topping I can use through this Epicurious YouTube video where Chef Michael Garrett has a graham cracker black pepper shrew. So I'm gonna use his recipe for it and throw that on top because it sounds delicious. It's graham cracker, it's bacon, it's sugar, vanilla, butter, all these amazing things. I think it works perfectly because it's gonna balance the saltiness of the dish and add a little bit of uh, nice sweetness to really bring it home, so. You know, sweet and salty, you know, like, uh, what is that, ice cream? Uh, sweet and salty ice cream? What's that, is that what it's called? <laughs> That's really interesting. Not too sweet. I'll save this for tomorrow. Okay, I think I'm in a good place. I still have some questions I need to work out, so I'm going to use my phone or friend now. And the friend I'm gonna choose is a pasta master himself. I think he'll know exactly what I can do. You are one of the most knowledgeable people on pasta, and I kind of have some issues with my pasta. I'm here to help. So the first issue I had, the sides, you know, where it should be the best piece, yes. they actually turned out a little bit too hard. It depends on the on the cheese that you use. When they solidify, they solidify hard. Oh. Uh, if you add uh, a component okay. like a heavy, heavy cream. A heavy cream, really? Yeah, Okay. not too much. This is actually super helpful. I'm so glad I called you. Second question for you, I want to add truffles this dish. It's always good. <laughs> what is the best way to incorporate the truffle? I would put four or five slices of truffle in the heavy cream and then you put the cheese. Wait, really? That will give a, a bust of flavor. Okay. But then, uh, yeah, on top, shave a lot. Shave, <laughs> shave a lot. A lot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put this pasta in a pie crust and bake it together because my friend loves pie. What do you think about it? Is it crazy? Being Italian, uh, I tell you, carbs on carbs, you know? It's like a, you put pasta on top of pizza. Does it make sense? I'm asking you a question. <laughs> No, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I would keep it in the pan. <laughs> I, yeah. Well, I'm going to not take your advice, but you bring a very good point. <laughs> All right. I, I have had pasta on pizza once in my life, and oh it was my not God. good. It Don't even not... tell me. Don't even tell me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks so much. The last thing I'm gonna do today, I'm going to partially bake a pie crust so that when I do put the mac and cheese on top, it doesn't make the pie crust too soggy. What I read is you wanna make sure you're working with it when it's still a bit chilly, which it is. And then I'm going to follow the instructions from the tasty video. I should probably add some flour in here. Uh oh, some of the dough is breaking. <laughs> oh no. This might be my doomsday. Uh oh. I think it is going to be my doomsday. This is not right, right? <laughs> no! Always smush the cracks back together whenever you see a big one forming, because it's only gonna get one. Okay, okay, okay. Francesco did not like this plan one bit, and I'm starting to think I should have listened to him. Crack. <laughs> I'm screwed. I kind of need to use another phone friend right now. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna finish this. If I fail, I have tomorrow still to kind of make this work. So I don't get any more flower friends. It's not even big enough. You're right. You're right. Brittany, you're right. Oh! All right, installed that in the oven. So the way to par bake this, put something heavy on top so that it bakes. So you can put something like um, rice, beans. Let's see what happens. I'm not feeling good about this. No. New day. And we're going to make the best gosh darn mac and cheese in the whole wide world. Last night was uh, despair. I'm tired. I'm sad. This sucks.
but today is gonna be different. Let's begin. Okay, so last night I was making the pie crust and uh, it actually came out okay. Pretty flaky actually. It's fine. And this morning I went out and bought a smaller pie dish though because this 14, wait, is this the same size? Wait, what the heck? Okay, the lot of research last night. Apparently pie crusts are very frustrating to make. One, the temperature of the dough is extremely important. You can't be too cold, can't be too warm. Two, don't be too skimpy on the water. This looks good. This looks like all the videos I watched last night. So one cool trick that I saw, you put it in the film, you form the dough into the disc that you need for the pie crust. See you on the other side. Okay, okay. One thing I also realized is people roll one way, they don't go back. So I gotta make sure I go only one way. Hey, 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 what do you think, Tony? Let's go. Okay, this is how I suck myself up on the basketball court too. I just do this, you know, just like, let's go. And I dunk on Ryan Bergara. I'm just gonna do one more flower sesh. Just to make sure we're good to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Woo Sorry, Brittany. Woo so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna push in the sides, I'm gonna crimp it, and I'm gonna go put it in the fridge for another half an hour before we bake this. If you guys open the fridge, please open it carefully. So the plan for today is putting it all together. We got the pie crust, we got the bechamel, we got the pasta, we got the graham cracker black pepper streusel. This is where it all comes together. Or we all fall apart here and I end my career in cooking. We're gonna be doing like four things at once here. You know how good I am at multitasking. Not good. All right, first up, butter and flour. Good tip. Holy smokes! Whoa, 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 what happened? Oh, oh, this thing is strong, dude. Let's get rid of this. It smells good. <laughs> oh, I think I was supposed to do that slowly. All right, my friend, you have fun. I think it's ready. Now the secret ingredient that our friend Francesco told us to add, the heavy cream. All right, first up, Red Witch. Wait, I should measure this out. How many ounces do this? Oh wow, it's only one and a quarter ounces. Eight ounces? Oh shoot, pause, pause. Thank you, Brittany. Oh my gosh, need to put weights on this. Um, this is starting to curdle quite a bit. This is very bad. That's bad. This needs to cook the pasta now. Wait, but the pie crust needs to go in. Okay. And then this is, I think, ready to go. Thank you, Brittany. I need a bigger pot. So yesterday's did not have enough cheese, like way not enough cheese. A half cup? How much cream cheese? Eight ounces? One of these is eight ounces. This is a lactose intolerant person's nightmare. Oh, 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 in my head, this was a lot easier. This is a lot of pepper. I'm gonna go ham. Still too soft. Oh, and I forgot all about the trouble. We gotta shred some trouble in here, per Francesco's note. All right, we gotta we gotta move. Black pepper. Yes, sir. Cheesier. It's richer. It's stronger. Oh gosh. I feel like this is the most unwatchable footage. Just me realizing I did everything wrong. This is looking delicious. Carbs on carbs. Don't tell me it's not a good idea, Francesco. This is ridiculous. Wow, this is good. And then we're gonna put this in for 30 minutes and hope for the best. Now we wait. Hello. Hello. It's very, Shane Madej. I'm very hungry. So what we're gonna do now, I'll have you close your eyes. Oh, I get to close my eyes. I'm gonna bring it out and then we're gonna have a nice little reveal. I wish they did this at restaurants. <laughs> Make you close your eyes till your food comes out. Shame a day, your dish has been granted. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. You did even more than I wanted. You did. You made it a pie. I made it a pie. You knew. You know I like pie. I know you love pie. I was just expecting a. I was wrong about the presentation. I love presentation. <laughs> 
You made it a pie. I don't even want to eat it. I just want to look at it. So what you have in front of you is a truffle mac and cheese pie. To begin with, we have a three cheese mixture inside. We have we an talking? old Amsterdam Gouda. We have a red witch cheese, which is a alpine is. cheese, kind of like a Gruyere. Red, red witch? Red witch. Scary. And we also have a nice Cabot cheddar oh. topped with a graham cracker black pepper streusel. Pepper. Pepper. That's the, I didn't even mention this, but I love to put a little pepper on my, I know. You, you read my brain I got here, you. man. And that's all baked in a lovely, lovely pie dish. And obviously topped off with some white truffle, which is the most exquisite. Each one of those is like 10 bucks. This is crazy. This is beautiful. This is crazy slash beautiful. Like the motion picture starring Kirsten Dunst. Oh, the noises. Wait, hang on. You hear that? Good. Oh, just so much on one fork. Look at the different, oh, okay. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. That is crazy good. Good pie crust? Miraculous. I can eat this whole thing right now. This is so, Steven, you've done it. Hey man, and it's just part of the show. You know? I was fully ready to handle this with kid gloves and you know, if you really beefed it, you far exceeded my expectations. Do you have any sort of rubric or a- It's, a, it's a more of a goo brick. It's very goo based and the goo is here, but the crunch is here too. And I'm just overall delighted. I give it a 10 out of 10. Woo! I'm jumping in, I gotta I got take a bite. I'm actually excited now because you will see that I'm not kidding and that it does kick ass. You can see a, pr a proud man right now. Oh, that's super good. You can admit that you nailed wow. it. Wow. Oh, it's flaky. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's flaky. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I got a flaky pie crust. You really knocked it out of the park. You did give it 10 out of 10 uh, goo bricks or whatever you call it. That's the goo brick. 10 out of 10? It's, it is a goo brick. Fair enough. But That's funny. Oh man, I see it in Tony's hand. Give it to me. Oh man. I'm putting this on right now. That You burned that. Whew. Should we get some for Tony and Brittany here? Yes, absolutely. All right, signing off from Dish Granted Headquarters. I'm your host, Stephen Lim. Are you ready for it, Stephen? My hat is off to you. I kept it on this whole time. Woo! I thought you were gonna throw it off the balcony. No, that, that's an expensive hat. <laughs> oh, gotcha, okay, no worries. 16 then. bucks. Yeah, keep it. All right, bye, I'm gonna go sleep now.